Good morning, Brienne. Welcome to the podcast. And Thank so can you. you can you tell our audience a little bit about yourself? Yep. Yeah, so um my name is Brienne. I graduated from the University of Tampa studying advertising and graphic design and about eight months after graduating, I got hired by ROI Amplified, and I'm now the digital content coordinator, which means I'm in charge of all of our social media for our clients and ourselves, blog posts, videos, basically anything that falls into content, I cover it. <laughs> oh, that's great. So, uh, like you mentioned, you also handle social media and uh, for your clients and yourself. Yes. Uh, so... Where do you think social media lies today? Like what is the importance of social media today for a brand or any client? I think that especially for brands and clients, um, it's important to have a social media presence just because uh, social media, so many people use it. There's definitely way more people that use it than don't. And so just um, getting out there and giving social media gives your brand and your um business the opportunity to give yourself a voice and say this is who we are and this is how we're going to reach people and you know Instagram might be different than Facebook which might be different than Twitter but just giving yourself a consistent voice so your customers know uh, who you are and what you're all about. Oh, that's great and now that uh, the holiday seasons are coming up how do you think one can leverage uh, social media uh, for a holiday campaign? so that they can reach more people or engage with uh, a larger audience. Right. So um, the great thing about social media is you have your organic posts and your paid posts. Um, so what I like to do is plan out all of the organic posts. So like we're going to, you know, post three times uh, in the month of December about our Christmas campaign that's happening and you post while it's going on. Um, but then you also have your paid posts, which are obviously, uh, you're boosting them to reach more people that you might not normally be in front of. Um, so just, you know, sorry, got distracted. <laughs> so just, um, you know, you're going to be in front of a larger audience. And especially during the holidays, that's when you can get a lot more business um, because everyone's holiday shopping, which is great. So just getting your face and uh, your brand out there in front of more people, it's a great opportunity um, to gain not only new customers, but to expand to your current customers as well. True. And uh, so maybe some, some people are short of uh, content writers or content creators at this point in time because it's, it being the holiday season, a lot of our team members also want to go on a holiday itself. Right. So uh, how can one repurpose uh, the content that they already have and tailor it around the holiday campaign? Right. So um, we actually just did this for one of our clients. They are, they just put out new products, but they want to do a whole holiday campaign around it. Um, so what we did was um, we took our old content and kind of, rephrase like different catchphrases and a few graphics tweak them to make them more like Christmassy or holiday like and it's like give the gift of your product this holiday season um, it's not too late to stock up for stocking stuffers and just like taking your old uh, content and even if you just do a new um, caption or slogan with it uh, it totally reinvents the whole campaign oh yeah that's great and uh, how can one also amplify the brand messaging? Because maybe the brand's message could be tailored around a, hol a specific holiday, or they might want to uh, just showcase their product during the holidays. So how can one amplify the br brand messaging during the holidays? Because so many right. people are running different campaigns. <laughs> right. Um, it's definitely, you know, finding the way to make your brand stand out because like you said, there are, everyone is, uh, you know, pushing out holiday campaigns and so you want to make yourself stand out. So um, we, obviously all of our clients that we work with have their brand guides. So sticking with, you know, the colors and the fonts and um, obviously the logos, but still kind of catering it and 
just like adjusting graphics or adjusting the wording slightly just to give it a more of a holiday feel. Um, but you're still saying like, this is who we are, but happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's nice. And, uh, so how would you like, do you also have certain bundles of products or content pieces that you, uh, uh send out to your audiences together to, uh, as lead magnets probably? Right. Yeah. So we, um, we like to do a lot of gravity forms as lead magnets. I know we have a solar company, so we have a gravity form to figure out how much you're going to save, you know, it's the solar energy calculator and we get their, uh, email and information through that. We also, um, with other clients who have actual like products that you can order and have shipped to your house or pick up in the store, um, we'll send out the email campaigns. And then again, we have forms for those as well on the websites. Um, so we're gathering their information. So hopefully they'll, you know, return back so we can keep sending them emails about new products and um, even like taking a, an old video and we have a blog post about it. So we can post the blog, post the video, just like our philosophy is very like, if you have you know, if we have a blog post, we're going to make a video with it and there's going to be a landing page and a gravity form and just like tie it all together so that everything works together. That's great. And I'm sure you're also, you, you might have given us a lot more uh, content pieces and strategies around in the ebook that we're, we're right. going to be launching. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, yeah. That's, that's really great. Thank you for your time, Brianne. Yep, no problem. Yep. Thank you so yep. much.